Hi everyone, today we're going to begin work on our animal presentations. This time around we're going to be using the website Prezi to create really dynamic presentations of our animals. Once you've typed in the web address, you're going to come to this screen. This is not the login screen. You want to go up to the top right and click login. My email and password are already saved here for me, but you're going to need to type both your email and your password in and click login. My home page is going to look a little different than yours because I already have a few Prezi's saved here. You may even recognize this one, but you're going to type or you're going to click on the top left, the blue box that says new Prezi. And then you're going to have to be patient. You're not going to click anything. You're not going to keep clicking. It won't make it open faster. And you're going to come to the choose your template box. A template is a theme for your presentation. Some, it's the whole look of your presentation. I like to pay attention and try and match it to my animal to make it have something to do. Maybe the color, um, maybe the look of it. I always think of this iceberg one would be good for a polar bear. But there are also solid color ones down here if you want to kind of create your own look. But scroll through them, pick your own. For this example, I'm going to be doing a presentation on the northern spotted owl, and I think that this looks a lot like that habitat for that animal. So I'm going to click this so the blue box is around it, and then I'm going to go down and click Use Template, and it will load it up for me. And you can see that's it. Now, you're looking at a main screen here. That's the whole presentation, and then you're looking at different sections of the presentation to help keep it organized in your head. Before we begin, you are required to have by this project to have four different frames because you're going to have four separate pieces of information or categories that you're going to need to fill. As you can see, I have three frames. The frames are the circles. I'm going to need to add, to add a fourth, and you will too if yours only has three. So I click on these and I just drag them. I'm clicking them around because I'm making room for a new frame, which I think will go here. So once I have those three where I want it, I go up to the top and click Frames and Arrows. I'm going to draw a circle frame because I want it to match the other three. I click and I drag until that circle frame is about the size of the others. All right, and that looks about right. Good. Now we're ready to begin the presentation. The first step is to give it a title. Your title must include the name of your animal. So I'm going to do exactly what it says and click that box. And I'm going to type the name of my animal. Yes, spelling absolutely counts. Don't misspell the name of your animal. Now that I'm here, I can change the size of this. I can make it slightly larger or slightly smaller. I can also highlight the text and I can change the color if I wanted to. I do think I'm going to keep it white. I like the way the white looks against this background. There. Once the title is done, you're ready for your first category, your first, your first uh, bit of information. And you're going to go to the left here and click on step one and it's going to zoom right in to the frame where you're going to put your first category. Now I'm going to click on this title box and edit text. I'm going to delete the word step one and I'm going to type the title of my first box and that is description. I'm also going to highlight this and make it bright white. Yeah that looks better. Okay, and then here is where you will add the description of your animal. You will begin typing information here. But I am not going to do that. Oh, I'm going to spell things right too. I am not going to do that because I want to save some time on this presentation. So where you will be doing the typing right here, I'm going to copy and paste so it all is done for me. Okay, I've completed the copy and the paste, and now I have all of the information that I want in this box. But as you can see, it's rather large, and it's just pouring out of the box. So I need to make some adjustments. I'm going to shrink the font so that it's a smaller type. I'm going to bring it up a little, and then I'm going to use this arrow here to drag and stretch the box so it fits a little better. 
and I can see that my text is fitting in there. I do want to make a few movements though. Bring that up. Good. Okay, once the description is done and it's all there, remember to include the class of the animal. That is so important to have in the description. Then I've talked all about what it looks like, what the babies of the species look like, and its status, whether it's endangered or not. Once I've completed all of that, it's time to add a really good picture. No description box will be complete without a picture. To add a picture, I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to choose image. An image is a picture. And an insert image box opens here. I'm going to type spotted owl and see what it gives me. A lot of great pictures. I can scroll through these pictures and choose the one I would like. I think I'm going to be looking for a good close-up. I double click the image that I want. I wait patiently while it loads. It's coming. There it is. And let's move over a little. And as you can see, it's a beautiful picture, but it's a little large for what I want. So I'm going to shrink it down a little and I'm going to bring it. You know what? Maybe I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to resize. I want this resize. I'm going to resize and make my text a little longer so that my picture fits better. And I just do, I like to do a lot of playing with the size and the layout and how things look on it. So you can that too. Just move things around until you are happy with the way it looks. And I like that. I think that's a good description box. And that means I'm done my description box. So as you can see on the left here, it even says description here now. And you can see a small little thumbnail image of the slide that I've just created. We're done with that and we're going to move on to the next information category, which is habitat. So from the description box, I'm going to click the next empty bubble or next empty slide, I guess. And here it is. And I'm going to click on the blue title box, edit text, I'm going to delete that out of there. And then I'm going to type habitat. I am going to make that white. I like everything to match. And that's what I did in the last one. I'm going to add my text here. Once again, I'm copying and pasting. You will be typing. I'm going to stretch this out. And let's see. Perfect. And now I want to add an image. I'm talking about the habitat, so really what I like with the habitat is a map of, that can show where the spotted owl lives, because that's what habitat really is all about. So I still have my image box up, but if I didn't, I'd go back up to image, and spotted owl, oop, what did I do? Sorry. Spotted owl, um, let's say, range map. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. As you can see, these are all different um, maps of where the spotted owl tends to live. And this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for. So I'm going to double click on that. And wait patiently once again. And I'm going to resize this image. This one I've actually got to expand a little. Maybe a little too much. And this is a great map to show exactly where the spotted owl lives, exactly what I'm talking about in the text. So it really goes with the text. That's important. It can't be just a picture or a map for a map's sake. It has to go with what you've typed. And I'm done my habitat box. Now it's time to do the food category. So for that, I'm going to need to go to the next slide, which is the next empty one here on the left. And I double click that and it moves me to the next slide edit text and we're going to type food for this category. We're going to talk about what the spotted owl will eat. Okay. Once again, you know what I'm going to say here. You're typing, I'm copying and pasting. All right. Let's 
it's good for now. Let's see what I can find for a picture. So I want a picture. This is the food category, and they talk about what it eats. So I wonder if I can get a good picture of what the spotted owl eats. Spotted owl eating. Oh, perfect. These are very interesting pictures. Double click. The first one, the one that I've chose, if you can see, has a spotted owl with a mouse in his mouth. Perfect picture for what I'm trying to get at. And I don't want to shrink it too much because I want people to be able to see that mouse in there. So I'm going to double click on this, get my toggle switch back there, and I'm going to make the box green. Yeah, I like these two images, these next to each other. Good. And I'm done my food box. Oops, I'm done food. All right, so I'm going to come over to the left. I'm going to click on the final category box frame here. And this is the one we added. So it doesn't look like the others, but that's okay. I know I want to have words, and I know I want to have pictures. So I'm going to type this here. I'm going to click this one here. That would give you only a spot for words. This would give you a spot for only pictures this would give you both and it does look a little different but that's okay this box is interesting facts I know I'm going awfully fast here bring that up a little let's bring the interesting facts up okay now, it says click to replace image. I think you should just click on it, and once the frame is around it, the blue frame, hit delete and get it out of there and do your own. All right, so we come back over to insert image. If that's not up, go to the insert image button here. Spotted owl. Oops, I clicked off the wrong thing. Um, I think for this one, I just want to have a spotted owl. I don't. I want that one where its wings are spread out. I think that would be a really cool picture here. Yes, this one. And we wait patiently once again. And we resize the image to fit appropriately. Beautiful picture. I think I'm going to do some moving around so that way it fits really good. Whoops. There. Yeah, it's a little different. I'm going to stretch this out to fit it, and then that way I get as much of my picture in as I can. It's such a cool picture. I hate to shrink it too much. Good. And there we go, and I think that's what I'm going to stick with. I do go out of the yellow, onto the yellow a little bit, and I'm okay with that, as long as it's not too much. There we go. I have completed my presentation, mostly. Now, Coming back over here, you can see description, habitat, food, and interesting facts are pretty much done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the next slide, slide six, and it's going to say um, the northern spotted owl again. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down. And since this will be a presentation, I would like your final slide to have, again, your title. In the color and creation of your choosing and rather than text actually rather than text the sign I'm gonna forget that I just did that and I'm gonna do um, I'm not gonna add text to this I'm actually going to delete that out if I can yeah I'm just gonna hit delete on that oh that does not look good in green so we're gonna go here and change that to white And now I'm going to find a really cool image. That's a good one right there for a nice close-up shot. To be the final image that people see of the northern spotted owl. That looks perfect there. Great. And I'm done my presentation. To watch it, click present.